Hey guys, the Shrieker was here. Welcome back to another Thursday stream where, yes, today we're covering not just the new combats, but the new bots as well. So super pumped to be able to show all this new content off. Can't wait. We've got it in good time for the new event. So they've sort of done away with leaderboards for now. So we're looking forward to a good event. And we'll be talking a bit more about that later on. <clears throat> My take on the event, sort of, uh, you know, what I'm going to be doing for the event and talking like that. And, uh, you know, the big question though is, is the bot worth it? That's be honest, that's always the question. Is the content that we're, uh, you know, fighting for, that we're playing for, is it worth the investment of the time you're going to spend over the weekend, the points, even the money, if you're going to spend money on it? So, that's the big question we talk about today. So, uh, as always, we talk about, you know, the news that are going through that, the big news in the game, and then uh, a couple of issues or things that I want to talk about as well, as always. So, yeah, welcome to the stream, guys. Uh, so, as always, let's see who we've got in the chat. So, we've got Stay Puff first then we got chris harman and jason rowley third grind time in fourth fourth uh grand, grand time records is uh first but uh he ain't first he ain't second he ain't even third you're fourth buddy but uh, yeah big shout out to all my members stay puff chris harman uh grind time kill cannon and uh, don't forget guys we're currently at eight platinum members now when i started this off i said listen once we get some milestones i'll start upping uh the amount we give away so every other month we give away a gift card to one of my platinum members and we're currently on eight platinum members if we get to 10 i will do a 50 dollar gift card giveaway every other month as long as we've got 10 members so if you're a gold member currently or a, you know a basic membership consider upgrading it through in with a shout of winning the 50 dollar gift card you got to think about it guys i, I think for platinum membership it, it's about nine eight dollars something like that so you know if you join for six months say chances are you got a good chance of winning that back within six months so you're getting your free money back you know so just think about it guys like i said you don't have to do that to support the channel i appreciate it but you know if we do get them 10 members i want to be able to give a 50 dollar gift card away i want to be able to do that guys uh but i have set it as 10 members so consider it guys consider it um We've got Penny Lancaster in as well. Lord Avix, thanks for joining. William Wilkinson, good to see ya. We've got S. Clahosse. We've got Ricky Lau, the usual suspects. Uh, we've got Luke in there. How's it going, bud? Uh, Warpath SB. We've got Terence Melton. We've got Jason Rowley. I might have said Jason Rowley twice, but hey, he gets a good mention. He's here all the time. Uh, Action Whale, welcome back. Not seen you for a few weeks, I think. Yeah, welcome back, buddy. Uh, Mitchell, VF1J. What does the VF1J stand for? I need to find out, actually, because every stream you pretty much hear and I go, VF1J. I ain't even got a clue what that is. Is it your initial or something? I don't know. VF1J, let me know. Uh, then we've got, is it Earn Chill or ER and Chill? Are you a doctor? I don't know. Earn Chill or ER and Chill, whichever one you want to take. Uh, we've got uh, Richard Trinder as well. Carnage Mac, aight. Uh, my buddy Atari, welcome to the chat, bud. Uh, Old Spot Phil, we've got uh, PHTM Waxer, Brian Leonard, uh, Irma Jones Anderson, how's it going? Uh, we've got uh, Roshan Nair, I hope that's right. Ah, Dragonstorm, good for joining. Thanks for joining, buddy. Uh, Leo Kirby, we've got Striker3124, and uh, we've got uh, oh, Mitchell just telling us it's from Robotech. Not a clue, buddy. Not a clue what that is, but yeah. Good. But yeah, thanks to everyone for joining. Like I said, so, like I said, let's have a look at the newsletter and see what's happening this week. So, Bar Week Grana, Weep Ninny Bong. We are in week three of a five week saga. Don't forget, we've gone to five weeks now. That's it. No six week sagas anymore, just five weeks. <clears throat> Uh, this week, we've got a five-star combat shard event. So, not too shabby. Not too shabby. Uh, and this week's event is called Combots. And Dale asked in the stream, is that some sort of meaning? And he said, yeah, it just means that the combats communicate. Okay. Uh, but yeah, there's no hidden meaning behind it, anything like that, guys. It's just a name for an event. Uh, so yes, take part in this weekend's event to win 750 five-star combat shards. 2,500 four star shards, 7,500 three star shards, 50,000 premium crystal shards, a G1 G metal power core chip, three G metal power core chips, seven gold power core chips, 200,000 combat spark, and 200,000 spark. And a partridge in a pear tree. 
Uh, yes, it's a uh, one million point event, and you know the usual sort of uh, prizes, sort of uh, you know littered throughout. So yeah, pretty good event. Looking forward to it. And uh, you know if our alliance gets the um, you know even just well, don't have to get the full seven to fifty. But if they do well, we get like four hundred shards, um, and I get through the battle pass to the first seven hundred and fifty combat shards to give it away. Um, We'll be pulling in a five-star combat on Monday's stream. So, as always, I do a bit of a giveaway, uh, you know, as part of that stream. So, uh, yeah, don't forget, guys. I also stream on Mondays. So, uh, come and join me then. Just a bit of gameplay, a bit of a chat, answer your questions. Because, uh, obviously, Thursday's a bit jam-packed now with information that I don't get uh, as much time to answer questions, really. So, on Monday, uh, any questions or any further things you want to see about the bots or anything like that, put a request in and we'll uh, check it out on Monday and uh, open a new combat as well. Our game updates and information. So they're still trying to plug this survey, but I ain't having none of it. I said to Dale, I said, I don't see the point myself. And a bit negative, I know. But I was like, Pfft. you know, it's going to be, you know, I know what everyone's going to say. We want more five-star shards. We want more spark. We want more of this. Oh, and thanks, Edge L, uh, for super chatting. Good to see you in the chat, bud, as well. Uh, <laughs> we had a bit of fun in the stream. We'll talk about that earlier, uh, later as well. We had a bit of fun in the stream, but thanks, buddy. Um, but yeah, as to tell, you know, they all, people always want more stuff. I get that. They want less of the rubbish stuff. I get that. Some people say the game's too hard. Some people say it's too, it's too easy. Uh, I won't win the five star shards. I don't that much. I was lucky enough today to almost win a code, which we'll talk about that again in a minute. Um, but uh, you know, it's like you know, for me, we just need to progress on the game now. H two eighteen can't come soon enough for me. It needs to come now, and it needs to be something different it needs to be you know where do you go when you've got a, a team of five star bots you've got five stars littered around that you just don't use you've got five star combats where do you go from there guys you know we're at a sort of precipice uh, at the minute at the top levels of the game and we need something sort of new in there um then we've got the new combats uh trip up and roller force uh we will be going through them uh, shortly Looking pretty cool though. And then my good friend Tex done a bit of a write up on Trip Up. And uh, yeah, he obviously he's one of the playtesters, so he's put it through its paces. Then we've got my content in the newsletter, as always. I like to plug my content. Uh, then we've got a few new drawings. Cool. I like that one. That's especially pretty good. Uh, mind wipe. That is good. Cool. And like we said, the saga schedule, so we've got, obviously, like I said, week three of a five-week saga. So they've pretty much announced uh, today that it's going to be three and a half mil for the five-star bot. So I also want five-star shards in it as well. Probably 750, I imagine. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to the event. I'm not going to lie. Um... We'll talk again. I don't want to talk too much about my expectations, but the box looking pretty good. So, do I go for the four star and oh, will I use it that much? I don't know. Maybe, but the five star, yeah, I probably will. So, but then eighty odd k is a lot of points, and you know, as people know here, that uh, you know, I work a lot of weekends, and uh, you know, I'm working that weekend, so uh, we will have to see. But uh, can I fit eighty seven, ninety thousand points uh, in that weekend? I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Uh, but next week is Prime Core Shards. So as always, guys, Prime Core Shards. Save your Prime Core Shards. Yanis did say in the chat that have another use for them. Didn't say what. I thought it'd be used to power up your bots, but I don't think it will be now. I think they'll use five star shards for that. I did ask in the stream today. Um, are you not worried that the economy is getting flooded in with five star shards? And uh, you know. Um, Hyro said that he was a bit worried, he was a bit, always worried a bit really about the economy because it can be easily ruined. But he said there could be new ways brought in and I think that's what we'll find. I think we'll find a new way of, uh, to use five star shards in some way. I mean, I know we've got the Omega part and I know we've got, um, we'll probably have Titan part I imagine for five star shards. But when you're on top of the game like myself, um, you know, I've, I've never been able to pull a full batch before. And I pretty much had that. Um, and when them saying that the next batch will be November, December, I'll probably have five pulls again by then. So you know, I don't want the whole batch. I don't want. I don't want that. You know, it's a bit of a. I don't know. It's a bit. 
unsatisfying pulling them all. Because then it's more of a, when I do a crystal video, it's more what order will I get them in, not which one will I get, because I've got them all. You know, so that's why I sort of deviated from the last batch as well. There's a couple there that I didn't really want, but I like the fun of which one am I going to get and the chase. I like that. You know, I like leveling my bots as well. So when that cap raises with HQ18, um, you know, I'm hoping it's more than uh, 67 personally. I want to be able to level my bots because if HQ18 comes out and it's steady increase, listen, if they do 67, 69, 70. Fair enough, I kind of get that. You know, they don't everyone go to 70 straight away. I kind of get that. But there needs to be some sort of, a, you know, progression in terms of leveling your bots or something. Because um, at the minute, it's quite stale in terms of leveling bots. Um, but yeah, they also need to make it more accessible as well, I think. But it's going to be crazy for free-to-play players get to get 65+. plus. But hey, they can always uh, change values on, you know, uh, missions and change things on events and give it crazy xp i don't know guys uh bring out even zen we talked about that about zen um cores you know we i talked about them possibly uh, i think they're available in the china server so instead of g metal cores they're uh zen cores uh, and they're sort of pink colored and you'll get double the xp rather than 1.5 from the uh, current g metal xp cores so anyway this listen it can go anywhere with hq18 but i'm just hoping some some variety and some sort of progress Let's have a look in the chat. Let's have a look what everyone's sort of saying. So, um, Penny Lancaster put Dazzle Strike. I noticed today works well in the MDS. Oh, oh. Well, Dazzle Strike's a bit relevant in this stream, actually. We're going to talk about that again. But yeah. And Calvin said they didn't want you to win. They never want me to win. I, I Listen, I've been watching that stream for like. Four years, five years, something like that, since the early days. And I've won once. And that's because I was in the stream and I wasn't even a YouTuber back then, but wasn't, you know. And I was like, I never win. I never win. And it was true. And I won. I was like, hey, brilliant. But ever since I've been YouTubing, I've never won one. Um, and I know they do stabbies, but I'm sure they do stabbies and go, oh, was I? Who's below him? Yeah, we'll pick him instead. Uh, I kind of get it, though, that they don't want to give gifts to YouTubers. I kind of get that. But even today, um, I said to Dale, I said, listen, I don't even want the code. It's more, it's more just the fact that, you know, that, you know, I was first. I don't care what Edge says, I was first. So Edge came first, but Edge put the answer, but you've got to put your answer, you've got to put your HQ. And the time it took me, obviously, he was just, he got just in front of me, but the point I was making was, but I could type out my HQ and my my alliance and my name still whereas he didn't so if he would have done that i might have come first but it was more the principle of the matter but it was good fun i know edge uh, from the discord chat is a good guy and uh you know just a bit of fun and um but here's a bit of a thing for you if uh if you listened carefully in the stream there's a little ping kept happening um occasionally and uh, that was me messaging Dale. And I noticed that it was pinging on the stream. So I was pinging him and trolling him, making it ping. You'll even see, watch it back. You'll even see at one point he laughs. Because I just put, I'm just trolling you now. I don't even need you. <laughs> but yeah, it was good fun. But yeah, uh, you know, we troll NJ House as well, me and Grind Time. And he takes it in good fun. And, you know, Grind Time even trolls me in the chat asking about giveaways. And, uh, you know, it's real good fun. And it's good fun between the content creators and even, you know, Dale. Uh, you know, it's a bit of a laugh, that's all it is. But uh, yeah. Um, Matt Poland, prediction time. HQ18 was immune to damage. Oh, God. Imagine. I can't. Nah, surely not. Surely not. Uh, Lord Avix. Walls fused with Lagoon and reflect 25% back. Oh, God. You, what, what are you guys trying to do? <laughs> <laughs> reflect damage back to walls oh my god time traps everywhere <laughs> um my polis put double the attack and move speed could work well in outposts uh yeah maybe yeah yeah i've not tested in outposts i'll be honest with you uh but maybe um Atari's put vixen says she wants this event changed yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> she wants it 1 million for a 17 star bot. I think this comes from... Does this come from when the... Uh, yeah, I think this joke comes from when it was the... Um, the 5 star combat for 6 years. 
and uh, someone in the uh, chat was not happy that it was a random one. They wanted to be able to pick, and we're like, come on, like, we'd all like to pick, but let, let's, you know, let's not be a bit unrealistic. Let's just take what we, we can get, you know. Hey, Brad Channing, good to, uh, good to see you. Thanks for joining on this late hour. Uh, three and a half million inflamed. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to lie. I thought it was three million. So I've seen three and a half. I was a bit, but it's not, it's not too much more. Really. Yeah. Grand Town, I've won in that stream before. Well, that just proves the apes don't like me then, doesn't it? That, just, that doesn't prove I'm a content creator. It just means they don't like me, maybe. <laughs> that's how just don't try to do anything it does something but that's not the point the point is like what's his range i don't even know i couldn't even tell you if it's large or small i could not even tell you i've got the four star at level one because you can't really see what he's doing the, the visuals are i said that the visuals aren't good enough and you can't rely on it so you go yeah okay reduce his range but then are you still in range or not though are you still in range? Is it? Oh, I don't know. Like I said, I'm absolutely baffled with it. I really am. I'm not a fan of it at all. Just not a bad idea, but just really poorly in terms of design, in terms of the visuals. Um. See how he's put one on the stream try the most because no one is on to complete against. Is that on Facebook? Top tip, guys. I was on Facebook today and there were 16 people on Facebook. 16 people on YouTube there was about 80 or 90 and on Twitch there's about 70 so if you want to win on the uh, Earth War stream go and watch on Facebook you got a lot better chance you got like a one in six chance there was six of us all competing like trying to answer the questions and I, and I still didn't even win on Facebook even then <laughs> oh Uh, Brad Chan is Garrett, is Garrett in the chat? I'm not too sure if Garrett's in the chat. I've not seen him yet, but maybe he is. Um, <laughs> Grand Sides, but you said it, not me. Neil Kirby was a five star dead end. Yeah, I think they're worried about people soloing bases with five star cups and dead ends, but I don't think it's an issue. I really don't. I really don't. Jason Rollers put the ranges random. Exactly. I don't. I hate randomness. I hate randomness. I'm very calculated, which we'll again talk about in a bit. So yeah. Okay. Cool. Let's get into the game and uh, have a look at this new bot. So as always, we are on the test server. So. Oh no. My grind time test server disclaimer has been disconnected. Ouch. Sorry, grind time. I've still got it. But basically, long story short, I was upgrading my stream today. After the sound problems we had on Monday, I was like, right, I am sorting this out. So I spent hours and hours sort of looking into it. And I I think I've solved it. I think I think you can hear now that, you know, the music's playing. I hope you can hear it all right. Uh, the music's playing and, uh, you know, it's not causing any issues this week. So... Uh, my voice is back to normal again, I'm not echoing. So um, yeah, hopefully it's uh, it's all sorted and cool. And uh, let me know what you think about the music as well, guys. I've had the music on, um, and yeah, I just want a big big shout out to Harris Heller who creates these things. And he creates. Uh, long story short, uh, it creates royalty free music for streamers to play in their streams. Uh, basically, any music you play, if it's licensed, if it's owned by someone and it's copyrighted, it means you can't earn money from your YouTube streams. Um, and so that's why a lot of streamers didn't use to play music on their streams uh, until guys like him have come along and sort of made this music for free. He just made money off it in other ways, but not in royalties and not from copyrights. So, you know, a big shout out to him. So obviously, uh, he's a huge YouTuber with, you know, hundreds of thousands of views, uh, hundreds of thousands of followers even. Um, subscribers so uh yeah big shout out to him and uh as we talk about subscribers if you're not subscribed yet guys hit the subscribe button to get a nice little notification on the stream but we're just 10 subs or 4100 subs it seems like yesterday we we're at 4000 so listen if you like the content guys and hit the subscribe button don't forget um but um yeah so let me know about the music tell me what you think yeah grand time i'd love to put a uh, 
like transforming music in there would be super cool. But like I said, uh, sadly, uh, YouTube goes, nope, nada, nope. Okay, cool. Let's have a look at the new combats first. Let me know about the uh, levels of music as well. Is it loud enough? Is it quiet enough? You know, let me know. Okay, trip up. So trip up has thirteen thousand one hundred and thirty-three health. So no, not bad, not bad. Uh, about the same as a five-star gunner when maxed out. So not too bad. Uh, I wouldn't say he's tanky, but I wouldn't say he's uh, you know, he's gonna get killed that easily. Uh, and can cause four hundred and fifty-four damage per second. Four hundred fifty-four DPS. Uh, it's about uh, you know, that's about the damage of a four-star special part, so that. But yeah. Um, trip up increased the movement and attack speed of nearby ally bots by thirty percent. So looking at the uh, four star, so looking at Roller Force, so uh, Roller Force has eight thousand eight hundred and fifty-six health and can cause three hundred and three damage per second. Roller Force increased the movement and attack speed of nearby ally, nearby ally bots by twenty-five percent. So. These combats, as you level them, it only increases their health and their damage. So the 5 star will always increase the attack speed of your bots by 30%, no matter what level. The 4 star will always increase the attack speed of your bots by 25%, regardless of level. So, personally, I don't like bots like this. I understand like it's good for some lower level players, maybe. Because then they can have it at level 7, it does a good job. Uh, but I always find there should be a reason to level that bot up. And with the health and the damage, uh, maybe not, to be honest with you. Um, I'd rather have a higher percentage. I'd rather have it at, say, 30% for a level 10 4-star and 25 for an 8, say. I'd have it at 35 for a 5-star level 10. So, you know. But, um, hey, this is the way they've gone with it anyway. But, yeah. Cool. So, let's try them in battle. Sneak peek a twin twist there. We'll be showing him shortly though. Don't worry guys. Don't worry. Laser Optimus. We'll put the new combat on him. Um... And there we go. So how I use speed up in the game is mostly um, like I use Laser Optimus and Wheeljack sometimes. Uh, I use uh, I use that to speed up his discs to make him go faster. That's the idea. So drop uh, laser Optimus at the start, drop wheeljack, do a lot of damage, and then path my bots. I love how his I've turned the music off, but his music. So normally I would put wheeljack on there, yeah, and that would speed him up. But we're going to let uh, the combat do this, this time. And... This is the point that I made to Dale, and the point that I made, is that although we're told it works, you can't really see it working, you know, and I was always thought that, I was always told that, um, I think I turned the music off on this one, I think I turned the music off on my actual account, that's why, there we go, that's why, so I think the reason is that the Ace have always said that combats shouldn't affect ability should only affect a bot's normal damage but there's a bit of a gray area around speed up and that's because it, it speeds certain things up like laser optimus uh it makes him shoot more discs it shoots faster uh strafe shoots more bullets so does more damage and ability um impactor as well i believe will uh target faster so although it does the same amount of damage it'll target the next one quicker so it does more damage again um but you know there's no there's not it's more of a bug really that they've sort of left in the game that is you know 
that, you know, I don't think it should do these bots. It should speed them up, but it does. And, you know, it works good effect to certain bots. But the problem I've got is that visually it's very hard to see if he's working or not. You can see, like, with Wheeljack, which is 70% speed up. So you can see it with the amount of damage it's doing. But in terms of later Optimus here, I mean, I did some tests today. And I think I must have done about three hours of tests. Testing, is it doing the right amount of speed up the combat? Is it working at all? Does it work with abilities? Is it working with just playing bots? You know, with a DPS? And after three hours of testing, I still wasn't sure. And I sent Dale a message saying, I don't think this is working, but it might be. And that's the big problem with Jazzle Strike and with bots like this. The visuals are really poor. I, I, trying to see if it's working or not. You shouldn't have to spend two hours working with the combat to see if it's working. There needs to be some sort of better visuals or something. I don't know what it what it needs. What it needs. I've not got a clue. But there needs to be something that makes it visibly easier to see if this is working or not. That's the problem. Um, a Tyrus put, can you show us a battle with the 5, 4, 3 and 2 start all on the same team? Uh, I'm told that the speed ups don't stack. So if you've got the 5 star and the 4 star, they won't do... Because so because the um, five star does thirty percent uh, and the four star does twenty five percent, you won't get fifty five percent from the two. The five star will overwrite the four star and give you thirty percent. That's what should work. But I did a test today with a, one of the bots, and it was getting fifteen percent extra damage. So I told Dale that I've just I've just tried this bot. I'm getting fifteen percent extra damage when I use this combat. You need to look into it, really. I'm not sure it's giving the right output. Then I took the combat off. I was trying something else. And it was still getting the 15% increase on ability. So I messaged Dale again, saying, I think this 15% might be from the tech tree somewhere. Someone in the chat might say that, you know, that, um, you know, it might be the tech tree somewhere. And I was, I was trying to think. But again, it shouldn't be this hard that you're thinking, is it getting sped up? It's doing 15% extra. I sat here with a calculator and a pen working it out. It does. Um, the bot did 15.5%. That's how much I went into the maths. 15.5% extra. And that sounds like half of what the combat was doing. But it could be the Titan tree. This is the this is the, this is the, the, the confusion. Now, I can see a couple people in the chat are saying, like, oh, I'm not too fond of this combat. If this combat works as it should, it will give all your bots 30% extra DPS, which is crazy. For HQ18, it's going to be vital. It gives your healers 30% extra healing because it speeds them up. That's going to be amazing for HQ18. But it needs to work, and we need to know it works. Listen, it might be working right now, but it's very hard to tell. It's very hard to tell. I mean, we could try with the healer as well. And honestly, I've sat here today for about three hours testing this and the new bot as well. And I'm still not sure. And I thought, I, I can't keep going on. I can't keep trying this over and over again. Trying this testing. You know, we have testers. We have playtests to do that. And is it broken? I don't know. Is it working as intended and not working with abilities? I don't know. Optimus Prime. It's got Minerva there. Firing the beam. Combat drops. So we're getting 732 healing there. I thought um <laughs> I don't know. We'll do a couple more tests to see. But you know, it's crazy that we've got to do these sort of tests like really in depth and look at numbers and you know crazy can you stack a wheeljack and chip up I believe not but again it's hard for me to test because 
I don't even know if Chipotle's working or not. It might just be abilities. I've tried looking on DPS, and you can't really see. There's very... I can't see any visuals at all, personally. So, let's try um, with... Uh, so, there's a no trip up there. No trip up there. No trip up. So, let's just try this a minute. So, healing wise. So, Minerva's doing 732 there. So, 732. Now, this combat should drop and that should increase the healing. If it speeds up the healing. 732. 732. But is, he in, is Minerva in range of that though? 732. 732. The numbers are still the same. How do we know it's kicking there? Is that kicking in now? Does that mean he's doing more healing? Again. I don't even know if the combat's working or not. Very hard to even tell. But this should have all been found and tested. This should even be found way before release. You know, and uh, it's very hard for me to sort of test it. If it's if it works as it should, it on paper, it should be amazing. But then so should Dazzle Strike. It should be amazing too on paper. But we just don't know. Is it working, Dazzle Strike? Is it going to... When you plan your attack, you can't think, oh, Dazzle Strike is going to shot on the range of that mortar. Is he in range of the mortar? Will he be in range of it? Will it do that? Or will you have to take the mortar out and decide that during the battle? You know, there needs to be a set range where you know for a fact, you know, this is the range. You know, Dazzle Strike goes along. And it's not like he has a constant circle around. I said that he should have a pulse. Dazzle Strike should have a pulse coming from him saying, this is the range. And every bot that has that sort of speed up, slow down, short enough range, should have a big sort of, you know, aura around them, pulsating out of whatever colour, just showing that it's slowing this area down. So you can see. So if it hits that target, you can go, right, yeah, I can see that target there is getting hit by this, that's short in the range. I don't have to worry about that target. But it needs some better visuals, a lot better. And that's a big problem. Um, Chris Harmon, if I owe you a crystal, uh, make sure you hit me on Discord still. I have given most of them out, uh, but I know I, I owed a lot out. I owed a lot, and I said to people, I'll see you on Monday. But there was literally about 20 odd people I owed them out to. So uh, if you are still owed a crystal, and you messaged me beforehand, and uh, I'll catch up on them. Don't worry, guys. Hit me up, and I'll get you. Um... See, Jason Rowley's put there needs to be coloured arrows over the bots to show the speed ups in progress. Well, there is speed ups on certain abilities already. That's the problem. So, on the likes of Cheeto, there's yellow stripes there. So, when I tested Cheeto with it, I was like, well, Cheeto's already got stripes. It's part of his ability. So, how can you see the speed up? It's little black arrows. But again, just because it's got black arrows does not mean it's working. It means the visual's working. It doesn't mean it's working. How do we know it's working? Other than looking at the numbers, but then I've looked at the numbers there and I, I can't see it. That's the problem. That is the problem. Um, well, strikes are a good point there. It's not working. Lock fires eight discs normally. It should be firing at least nine discs per ability. Oh, maybe it's that then. Um, why the heck you only have 522 energy and you can't do anything with that? Well, uh, just to prove a point. But can you do this? <laughs> there you go, is that better? <laughs> there you go, happy now. Nine mil. <laughs> and before anyone starts going, it's a hacker! It's a test account, guys. It's a test account. Um, Jason Rowley, does not strike works, tax what it wants. Well, that's the problem. We need to know. We need to know. Um, Emma Jones is thinking about taking a break for a month. Uh, just do what I did. Listen, I've stepped down uh, from a Prime League, from probably one of the top Prime League alliances uh, in the game, uh, to a Cyber Alliance, Cyber Stroke Prime. Uh, you know, just a time being, just to uh, you know, sit back a bit from the, uh, you know, the uh, the stress of top level wars, because I don't really need the spark, really. And, you know. 
Um, so, yeah, what's the point in getting stressed out about top-level wars when they can, you know, help some guys out lower down? And it's been really good being TF trying ops, you know, helping some guys out and giving some advice. And hopefully I can, uh, you know, help them improve in some way. And, uh, yeah, I started this YouTube channel off to help people and help people improve in the game and give them a bit of advice. And I'm hoping I've done that in some way. Some people will say no. Some people will say I will. But hey, um, but you know, hope I get whatever advice I can give, you know, it's up to them at the end of the day to take the advice or not. But I can give them some food for thought and say, well, have you thought about this? Consider this. That might be better. That might not. You know, and, you know. Uh, but yeah, you know, sometimes I say to people, listen, what the strategy you're doing is not my forte. If someone wants a Russian strash, a Russian strash, a <laughs> rush uh, and smash. Uh, strategy and wants to know what bots to use. I could generally give them a bit of advice with that, but it's not my forte. Whereas you want to walk, I'm your man. If you want to sack, yeah, I'll probably give some decent advice on that. Um, if you want to do a backdoor, I'm probably not your guy. You know, and you know, we all have our fortes and such like that. So if people will say to me, you know, look at my squad, they've got a backdoor squad. Yeah, I'm not really going to be able to help you there, really, but I could probably find you someone that can. But if you want to walk, I'm your, I'm your man. I'm your man. Um, he started the channel to help people. Now it's all about the money. If it was all about the money, I wouldn't work. Let's be honest. If it was all about the money, I'd be like doing this seven days a week. <laughs> Fixed motions, but he disguises hacks and an official account from the apes. <laughs> yeah, Matt Paul is put backdoor attacks at everyone's back. Yeah, I know. Yeah, but some people still do it. They still do do it. They still do do. They still do do. They still do do it. But, uh, yeah, it's not my thing, sadly. But, uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Alright, okay. Let's look at the uh, the new bot. So, you probably know by now that a new bot is Twist. Twin Twist. Twi 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 twin Twist. Um, and I forgot his brother's name. I'm sure someone will put it in the chat for me. Uh, but basically, uh, Nope, it's gone. Uh, but uh, I had his brother, uh, his other twin. Uh, as a kid, I loved it. I loved it. And as, when I seen Twin Twist, Top Spin, thank you, Bricks Motion. Well done. And Klahossi as well. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I had Top Spin. I've still got Top Spin upstairs, the G1 original. So I've got a massive soft spot uh, for Top Spin. Um, so when I seen Twin Twist, I was quite excited. I was like, oh, I hope, hope Top Spin is coming. Um, and I believe that uh, the two new bots are part of Combine as well, Ruination, um, and the C one. I, I, I thought it was the C cons, but apparently it's not. Um, it's something a bit different slightly. Because um, obviously I'm massive G one. I'm huge G one. Uh, but is Twin Twist and Totspin part of Ruination? I'm sure. Again, someone in the chat will know. Um, but yeah, excited to see Totspin come to the game uh, eventually. Cannot wait. Yes, Bricks Motion again. God Neptune, that's the one. Um, so yeah, Ruination and God, God Neptune probably come into the game. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure that Twin Twist is part of that combiner. So you've got to think, guys, that, you know, we'll talk about the event before we go into this bot room. So, okay, it's uh, three and a half mil for a five star bot. That's a snip. Let's be honest. You'll spend a hundred pounds chasing a four star easily and not get it this is guaranteed if you buy an sbb for a hundred dollars you're guaranteed it guaranteed 80k points for that um so you know you've got to think that you know this is a you know a five star bot that's you know that's going to be part of the next five star batch so you've got to think as well that that if you when you see your five star five star shards that takes off one bot off that batch so if there's another bot in there who knows what's coming it it, it could be top spin you go oh i want top spin We've eliminated Twin Twist at the very least. And you've got a combiner bot. So if you've got, if you want to go for the four star even for two mil, it's a combiner bot, guys. Guaranteed for two mil. You can get two mil free to play. Two mil between 40 players is only 25k. Is it? No. No. 50k. Ooh. Slightly out of free to play range, I think. But still, it's worth it for a combiner bot. Two mil for a combiner bot is a snip. So, you know, I will, if, it's, if this bot is good, which we'll review then yeah, it's going to be really good to go for. But regardless, if the, if the bot is rubbish, it's still a combiner piece. It's still a good five star, you know what I mean, that you, you can use where, for even Zen farming, if you're not going to put in your team. So well worth it. Um, But even like I said, if it just eliminates one five star out of that batch, that's still a winner. Um, 
Yeah, Gahosis, Gahosis put in Robots in Disguise Ruination was the Combaticon combiner. Yeah, there's a few variations of it as well, I think. So, yeah, that's a good problem. Um, actual world's free to play and best I could do is 37.5k. So it's just out of my reach. Oh, it's a shame, you know. It's a shame. It is. Um, four Star Titan was 1.75 mil. But the bot's 2 mil. Yeah, I can, I can see people's point though on that, maybe. But yeah. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. Uh, so that's the uh, five star twin twist at 35,000 health. It did have like 42,000. It was crazy. Crazy good health wise. Um, but they lowered it last minute. They thought it was a bit high. Um, 420 DPS, but that's obviously with the. Um, with the tech tree and wind strike on, so we only equip uh, wind strike there. It gets down to 319, so yeah, it's not down to the tech tree, simply down to that. But at ability 10 for the five star, it does 2224 damage for 20 seconds. So let's have a look at the uh, four star version. So I thought I'd show the four star version around 61.9. I think it's a good uh, sort of level for people to judge. So Health wise, 26,700 and 246 DPS. So, not a lot of DPS. This guy is not going to do well as a frontline bot taking things out with his, his normal DPS. He's not really sad though. But, I want everyone to sort of consider this. So, when we consider the health of this bot. So, the four star has 26,700 health at level 61. Don't forget the ability doesn't, doesn't factor into this. 26,700 health. At level 61. So as people know. I love my Rook. My 5 star Rook is in my war team. My 4 star Rook was in my war team. On I got 5 star Rook. I uh, did well in Prime League Wars. With the 4 star. And I still say to people right now. Listen if you've got 4 star Rook. Use him. If you don't, if you don't think you'll get the 5 star. The 4 star is still well well well. Prime League worthy. Great absolute great bot. And his health is 27,400 at max at level 65. So you can imagine this guy is going to surpass Rook in terms of health. So in terms of being a frontline bot, if you want a frontline bot that's going to take the hits, that's going to stop um, you know, your gunners getting hurt, then this guy does that job. It does that job very well. Speed of 1.7 and... Speed of 1.9. So very similar. Not too much faster. Yeah? Very good. But the big question is... What's his ability? And how good is it? Let's have a go. So let's put Twin Twist in. So Twin Twist, I would set up with Amalgamous. I know Amalgamous suits a lot of bots. And that's where you've got to make a decision, basically. Do you put it on someone else, or do you put it on this bot? And that's what you've got to decide. Uh, in terms of a combat bot, uh, I've been liking SG Steel Joe a lot recently. Uh, we can put a Wind Strike on there, but uh, it doesn't really affect ability. I'm pretty sure. Let's just check. It will help give us some more DPS, but... 224 damage, so it doesn't affect the ability, ability at all. But uh, I've tried Zor out, but he just sits a bit too far forwards and gets in danger. So the big one for me, uh, I like SG Steel Jar a lot, but uh, I think Trackstone works well, but I ain't taking out Blaster. Not a chance. So uh, I'm going to try SG Steel Jar. You could maybe have Stripes on as well. Stripes is a good idea, but. The big thing for me, and you know, Fabian said this in the stream, and for once, like, I thought Fabian was really knowledgeable about this bot and gave some really good advice. Uh, that the idea is to keep this bot alive, keep this bot alive, and it'll do amazing. Well, apparently, you know when you've made it when you get the bots. <laughs> Okay. Twin twist. Let's give it a whirl. So his ability is a lot like Cheetos. 
but his health is a lot higher. He's not quite as fast as Cheeto, going from uh, defense to defense, but it's still an incredible amount of damage. We you see there, SG Steeljaw doing his bit, just, uh, you know, keeping the damage down a bit. I can see their ability is 4 plus 3. There you go, Amalgamus working, so he's doing his damage up. But you can see there, we've cleared a huge area already. And you see there, so this is, don't get me wrong, this is on normal mode. This is not on hard mode, it's not on primary. This is normal mode, so this is zone 15. But you can see there, bit of a wall humping, but you can see there, but let's be honest, it's trying to get to that up there, let's be honest. But you can see there, he's cleared a huge, huge area there. Again, one bot, one combat. See there though, incredible damage, absolutely crazy. This is Cheeto 2.5, not even 2.0. Absolutely crazy. Again, not even a Titan yet or anything. We could be here all day. You get the idea though. But obviously we're talking about a maxed out 5 star. So how is it going to do in Prime League hard? That's a big question. Now, I think it'd be unfair just to drop this guy on his own. Because let's be honest, no bot is going to survive. So let's try Cheeto. Just to give us an idea, we'll put Amalgamus on. Just to compare the two. It's a, it's a good comparison for Cheeto. I mean, Cheeto sits back a bit as a gunner. But he sort of gets in the thick of it. And just remember, I don't think I put him on over. <laughs> uh, my five star Cheeto is maxed out. Uh, John just put my four star Cheeto is level 44 star. The five star is a different beast. The five star is amazing. Well, I say that, he was amazing. But with the amount of damage the MDS does and things like that, he isn't anymore, sadly. So, let's add our good friend Cheeto in. Hard mode. And don't forget, this is honestly like we'll go through the um, the current the current stats. One shall stand. One shall fall. <coughs> Put Cheeto in the middle here. So you see Cheeto there. <coughs> What's me? So you see there, Cheeto clearing an area. But as soon as he gets into a high damage area, he struggles for health. It really does look. And he's dead. So you see there, although Cheeto does a lot of damage, he needs protection. And the problem is that Cheeto. Because as soon as you activate his ability, he's onto melee. Because to melee, he's at the forefront, he's in front of all your tanks, and that is the problem at Prime League. And I've seen a lot of lower level players going, I love my Cheeto, it's amazing. Yeah, but when you're playing at Prime League in the, in the biggest level, you need them tanks in front. They've got to stay in front of your team. Now, when you're using Twin Twist, the difference is, he is a tank. So he can go up ahead. He can do that. You know, he can take the hits. So we put a uh, twin twist save situation. I mean, you've still got SG Steel Jar on, to be fair, but. 
maybe slightly unfair comparison. But you can see there, he's taking it out. He's not healing as much as Cheeto is. He has got more health. But the question now is, if we put them both together, they're still going to die as quick. But what if we add healers to the mix? What happens then? And that's the point. I mean, yeah, Brick's motion put 50k for a four star is insane. Yeah, but you know what? For twenty dollars, it'll probably get you there. If you use the coins, if you use the coins for sales only, 50k is probably doable with twenty dollars. Thirty at a push. And I think this is worth it. I really do, guys. So, Twin Twist, Cheeto, Ratchet, Minerva, Wheeljack. And now, let's go at it. I just realized that Twin Twist didn't have a Margamus on, so of course he's dying quicker. There we go. There's Twin Twist. We can put a Minerva Tower down, keep him alive as well. But you need that Margamus, I just realised. So again, don't forget guys, this is Prime League Hard Mode. See there, that area is now cleared. Two healers, gunner, and a tank. Give that guy now. But the big question again, like I said, is Amalgamus. Do we put Amalgamus on Cheeto? Do we put it on Laser Optimus? Do we put it on uh, Twin Twist? That's the big one. But the good thing here is that, so I put Amalgamus on Laser Optimus, and I've got his G1 core at a decent level. But what we can do is, we can put Laser Optimus' G1 core on him, and this increases damage, but absorbs, not to heal him, but it absorbs damage. So we've got the 5 star, maxed out pretty much. I think, is he maxed out? Or close to maxed out, yeah. Yeah. So now let's try it, with Laser Optimus and Twin Twist. This will be a bit more interesting. Hard mode. Uh, Twin Twist doesn't heal himself uh, unless he's got Amalgamus on. And here we go. Optimus Prime. Ratchet. Oh, don't again. I haven't put Amalgamus on Twin Twist. <laughs> uh, Traxton and Amalgamus and Twin Twist. Yeah, we can. Uh, I'll do that actually. I'm not sure I'd ever take um, Traxton off my uh, blaster, but I doubt it's going to die with this. But let's just say, if we, let's just say we were going all out on Twin Twist. All out. So we're going to give him exactly what he needs. Doesn't matter what other bots have got, we're going to give him exactly what he needs. So, Twin Twist. Where's Laser Optimus? Forget this guy. We don't want this guy, do we? Nope. See you later. Uh, and we're going to put four Star Tarax on uh, Laser Optimus as well. Hard mode. 
Let's go. Okay. Optimus Prime. Let's try and pop them a bit more central. So Lady Optimus obviously sits back a bit. Twin Switch goes to the forefront. But you see there. Now they're staying alive. Add a tower in there. Just in case. See, Lady Otto's obviously staying alive a bit easier because of uh, obviously sitting back a bit. We see Twin Twist there with the healers. Still staying alive. Not so much as killing my twin twist. Can we get it back up again? Uh, ah! <laughs> Laser Optimus. But you can see there that that's pretty much half the base gone with two bots. So the conclusion, I love this bot. I think this bot is absolutely amazing. And I wasn't really going to consider going for the five star at three and a half mil, especially that weekend that I'm working. But now I'm thinking, I've got to. It's not a question of do I want to. I have to for HQ18. I think this guy's going to be absolutely immense. I think that if they, if you can keep his healing up, and I can see Stay Puff said with Hot Rod, if you can keep this guy alive, this guy will do incredible damage. And the good thing is, is I've talked about you know bots that rush in. Now, there's a big difference between this guy and Pipes. And you might say, well, yeah, but was it? You don't like Pipes because he rushes ahead. And then when he transforms his ability, he's left vulnerable. And this is right to a degree. But the difference here is that when Pipes rushes in, there's defenses behind him, the side of him, hitting Pipes. When this guy rushes in, he takes all that out. Whatever's behind him is gone. This guy takes it out first. So you're not just rushing ahead and having defenses all around your target. You're... You're going through the defenses. That's the big difference. You know, amazing health, like I said. Not amazing damage, but it makes up for that with his ability. Uh, you know, the idea is not to spam his ability. You're not going to get huge, you know, huge uh, value out of that. But the idea is that you can use it once or twice to clear an area. The apes have said that they want to use combos in some way. So you're talking laser Optimus, Cheetor, Twin Twist, using them all together. And I can see a sort of like cleanup crew emerging from this, hopefully. Where it's, you know, a cleanup crew of more tankier bots like Sentius, like Laser Optimus, like Twin Twist. The only problem there is you need some DPS behind them. That's the big one. And that's where I did a bit more of a test. So. What we're going to go with is Laser Optimus. We're going to go with Twin Twist. We're going to go with Sentius. Now, the problem we've got is we've got Amalgamus on him, so we're going to have to put something like Alchemist. Now, three tanks, when they run out of ability points, and they will, because they're quite expensive, these three guys, they're going to need some bots just to sit behind them. And, uh, you know, help them sort of, you know, do some damage, basically. So, let's put a steel jar on, um, on Sentius. There we go. And let's add a couple of bots just behind them just to do a bit of DPS. So, um, again, I'm just going to pick two bots, but I don't want to, uh, I don't want them to do any abilities. I'm not going to do any abilities at all. All we're going to use is the frontline abilities of Twin Twist, Laser Optimus, and Sentius, and healers. That's all we're going to do. Just heal them and try and go through the base. Chris Trillin's put Give Sentius the new combat. 
we don't know if it works or not. We can't. We might give it him. It might do brilliant. It might not. We just don't know what's the problem. It needs sort of addressing, really, before I really give it a, a proper review. Yeah. And here we go. I'm not going to use uh, Laser Optimus quite yet. Twin Twist taking crazy amounts of stuff out there. I do want to take these out with the uh, two side bots on. And then we can have a Twin Twist, just a. Uh, don't need the ability yet. Let's take that with small screen. Oh, I won't use abilities, was I? Oops. Apologies. <laughs> I forgot. Use that under a Titan so it doesn't lose, hopefully. Might do by now, I forgot about it. Oh, there's Laser Optimus. Add some healing in there. Just keep him alive. That stun's not helping at all. Twin Twist is gone. Abilities ready. Abilities ready. Oh, now we've got to combine it now. Oh, my days, and died. <laughs> Oh my days. If your healers get hacked, good night. <laughs> but you see there, guys, listen, we've cleared two thirds of the bases out. Just having two, three tanks at the front, just taking little bits out. You know, it's crazy amount of damage. I mean, like, again, I'm not even practice that, guys. I've literally just gone at it going, I want to do three DM tanks and some DPS behind them. So, like I said, super, super pleased about these bots. Uh, can't wait. I'm, I'm considering going for a three and a half mil. I really am. Um, just at how good they are. Really am. Uh, again, not only is it going to eliminate one from the next batch, not only is it going to be a uh, combiner bot, that at the very, very least, at the very least, I'm going for two mil. This bot has got to be attainable to four star. But when they bring out combiners, they have said that you'll need all the pieces. So... It's a five-star combiner piece. Look at it that way, guys. It's a four-star combiner piece. It's a five-star combiner piece. It's a good bot. And this, as Fabio said in the stream, this has come from the playtesters. You know, they all said that they want a tank that does good amount of damage to their ability. And we've got that, you know. And I think most people are pleased with it. And, uh, yeah, I'm super pumped for this guy. It's something a bit new. Um, and, yeah, cannot wait. So, yeah, thumbs up from me, guys, honestly. Uh, Atari's put, um, the explosions are fun, but I just don't have a good rhythm for him. Oh, you mean Brainstorm? I mean, these guys like explosions. Yeah, I want Brainstorm, I really do. But, uh, yeah. I can see loads of people putting the requests in the chat saying, can you try Brainstorm with him? Can you try uh, this with him? Listen, guys, if you come in on Monday, this is we can do anything like that, any request, anything you want to try. Uh, bring it on Monday and I will do my best. We can level some bots up, we can do whatever and we can give them a try on Monday. So that's that's time Monday where it's just chilled out. I can do any requests, answer any questions about anything or whatever. Uh, yeah, come on Monday guys and any requests you've got for the new bot, I'll pair them up, try what you want and we'll go through it. But join me on Monday guys for that. Cool. Uh, Calvin's asked, is Twin, Fist fi Twin Twist finalised? Yes, they last did some last minute change today where it reduces health slightly. But you're talking like two or three thousand health at max. 
Um, and he is finalised. That is the bot, and I can't imagine them changing it. I think it's well balanced. I don't think it's OP to the point where it's crazy powerful that people are going to use it for HQ 17 and just wipe out the base with just that and two bots. I don't think it's underpowered, though, to the point where you're just like, it's not going to make an impact. I think it will make an impact in the team. I really do. I think it'd be good in some aspects, especially with the NBS out front and you're walking through. I think it'd be really good to sort of target them sort of... Um, their first few structures, uh, especially put amalgamas on them, and I, I'm considering putting them in a the team um, with Laser Optimus and put the G1 core on Laser Optimus and amalgamas on uh, on him, because amalgamas is currently on Laser Optimus in my squad, so it'd be a good fit. So yeah, good bot. Uh, Alison Jones, you know when HU18 is coming? No, uh, later in the year, around September, October, supposedly. Fixed motion. Is he war team worthy? 100%. 100% war team worth it. I can see a lot of top guys uh, using this bot. Um, and I'm glad that, you know, we've got a good track record now of SG Jetfire. He's a good bot. You know, I won't say amazing, but good. Minerva, absolutely amazing. And I think this guy's good as well. I wouldn't say amazing. Uh, he still has his weaknesses. Uh, but he does rush off ahead a bit. But, you know, he's an upgrade from Cheeto. If you use Cheeto right now, this guy's an upgrade. Massive upgrade from Cheeto. And Cheeto, for me, I think we're rating him quite low. Um, but yeah, I was rating this guy. I'd probably put him in the, you know, A-class, second tier. A very good boss. Up there with the best of them. But yeah, really, really good. I'm, I'm quite pleased with this bot. Cool. Right, okay. I wanted to have a go at something else as well. So you might have had a sneak preview of this. So... What would happen though if we tried it without any tanks? Can an all come all gunner squad with all healer squad work at HU17 hard? So we, we are going to combine them because we've got we've got that guy in now post. I can't even hacking four healers. Imagine hacking the whole base would be regen again. So we can't have that. So we are going to combine with us. But uh, yeah, four gunners. Four healers and listen, I've got the best four gunners. I mean, come on, we've got Sunstreaker in there, and he hasn't even got a uh, and the old core. I put my chronos on him, so I don't have enough. So, it's one of these three guys are really going to use that much. So, let's have a go. Four healers, four gunners, Prime League hard. Let's see what happens. Charlie Plays has asked, Do you think the four star are worth it for players as well? 100%. I really do. For Prime League. Maybe not. I, I would put him up there with Sentius to give you an idea how good he is. I, I'd rate Sentius very high as a four star. I really would. And I would rate this guy as, as high as that. I would. Okay. Deploy. Deploy. Roll Take this out. <clears throat> you see straight over there. Just to path them. Try and take that one out. There we go, that'll do. There's a Titan slowdown in uh, kicking in. Trying to take these mortars out. I don't want to waste too many ability points though, so I'm trying to think to get away to get in range, but I think we're gonna need a healing tower, I think maybe or a 
ratchet bomb for Cool, let's take them out, there we go. Oh, our DPS, and we're still struggling to take Rhinox down. Keep trying to take that out, but it's not working. There we go, it's gone now. Gunners cannot get through walls. I'll tell you that much. Oh, I did forget to say that I have put glitch in them all. <laughs> to keep them way back from defenses. Might be able to do this from a uh, from range even. So hopefully we can take these out. Yeah, we can't be hacking them bots. <laughs> we can't be having that. Thirty-eight seconds left. Set the HQ down. Can we do it? Can we reach it? Eighty seconds. Wow! Ridiculous! Oh man! Man! I practiced that once and I did it without a combiner. <coughs> but I've changed the base around a bit since I've tested him. So close, but yeah, listen, no tanks needed. Four healers, four healers, four gunners, and not even set up to be perfect. But yeah. Listen, I enjoyed that. It's something different again. Different dynamic using four gunners and using four healers. But yeah, I'm uh I'm gonna give it another go. I'm gonna go again. Yeah, this is different defense layouts, but um yeah. But I'm sure it'll do well in the same layout. You know, the more clustered it is, Sea Spray will have a field day. But it's not clustered this base, so Sea Spray will find it a bit harder. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use less ability points. That's what we're going to do. Marco's port. They weren't even losing health. That's the point. They were just staying alive. But that's sort of managing the, uh, you know, managing the bots. Let's try again. Let's try again. So let's just try Sunstreaker instead. Over there. Try and take them out that way. I want to try and save the six gun. There we go. Save them ability points. I'm going to drop first aid though. Don't need his midi bots right now, but I will do. Let's use the Titan straight away this time.
Let's use a heal bone to keep Sunstreaker alive. And let's use a wheel jack. Give him an injection of health. And then speed him up as well. That should help a bit. We see that glitch, so I can keep him out of range there. Oh, Titan. Pass the bot left as well, it's actually a bit better path in this one. So let's just uh, take the bots all left. Alive, he ain't going nowhere. I'm gonna use all the abilities now on the HQ and try and take that down early. Try and path the bots round a bit to the left, probably just one outpost rather than two. That's the plan. Take Rook out. There we go. That's how good smoke screen is. Woo! <laughs> and this should do it. Boom! Base down. That's how you do it. We used two the ability points at the start. <coughs> but yeah, this is crazy. That, again... The team didn't lose any health. The matter is time. The more walls, the harder it's going to be. But can you take the defences out that are in between them walls? And uh, it's a bit of a risk. Uh, try three healers if you want. But yeah, uh, try an all gunner team. Uh, and let me know in my Discord. And uh, send me some videos of uh, how it went. I'd be truth interested to know. But uh, yeah, I'm loving this all gunner team. Uh, you know. You do need some 5 star combats. I've already got 5 star glitch. I've got 4 star glitch. I've got 4 star top heavy. Do I go for 5 star top heavy next? That's the big question. That batch is a bit... Mm, I don't know. I've got most of the good ones from that batch. Do I go there next and try for that? Find out on Monday. And we'll see which bot I'm going for. <coughs> uh, fixed motions put... By the way, whatever happened to the nose cone buff, they promised. Yeah, I've already said that. I've let's trust me. I've uh, I've told them in the stream. I said, listen, this ain't on. You know, you promised this spot 18 two years ago. Uh, you know. Yeah. Uh, Matt Bowl is put. You could show Frankster and DJ how a minion squad is meant to work. <laughs> no, listen. They they say they like their minion squad, and uh, you know, I like watching those guys. They're, uh, they're fun to watch, and uh, good luck to them. You know, I could try it myself, really, in a, in a primely, maybe. But uh, I'd have to set one up, really, and get all the bots together on a, on a test account. But, uh, yeah, it's not like a fun squad. So they can use their minion squad, and I'll use my uh, gunner healer squad. <laughs> my camera's gone. Oh, my God, what happens? Hey. Eh? Oh, I didn't put it onto charge, so the battery's gone. <laughs> So, I've plugged it in, but the lead's not in properly, so apologies. But, uh, anyway, that is the uh, end of the stream anyway. So, uh, yeah, uh, big thank you to everyone that uh, has tuned in. And uh, before we go, we're going to do a quick uh, giveaway. So, today, I'm going to choose random five random people who I think of, uh, you know, I've talked quite a bit in the chat. Ones have been active in the chat. So I'm going to give uh, Atari a um, a code because he's been uh, chatty, chatty, chatty. Uh, grind time too. Thanks for joining, guys. Uh, who else has been really chatty today? Let's have a look. Bricks Motion, you've been really chatty as well. Uh, thanks for joining. See you there. Loads of messages from Bricks Motion. 
And don't try flooding the chat now, guys. It's too late. <laughs> I'm not going to give one to uh, Naked HD, even though they did flood the chat. Nope, they're not getting one. Um, we'll give one to Calvin. He's been talking quite a bit as well. And Matt Poley as well. So there you go, guys. You five guys, hit me up at Discord. And um, we will sort you a Sunstrike Water Stash Crystal out. So, yeah, thanks for uh, watching, guys. But uh, don't forget, guys, as always, um, don't forget to hit a like on the video uh, before you leave. Uh, don't forget uh, to subscribe, and we will uh, see you uh, next Monday. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. You can't see why I'm doing peace out. Peace out, guys. See you on Monday. <laughs>